find the inverse of the following. The first one is permutation f is equals to the first line 1, 2, 3, 4, second line 1, 3, 4. We know how to write the inverse. To write the inverse of any permutation, simply interchange the rows of the given permutation. In the given permutation, 1 is an identity permutation. Therefore, we simply ignore the number 1 and hence we write f is equal to the cycle 2, 3, 4. So, f is a cycle of length 3. We are going to find the inverse of the cycle f. That is f inverse. That is equal to the inverse of the cycle 2, 3, 4. We know how to write the inverse of a cycle. To write inverse of a cycle we have to write them in the reverse order without affecting their order this has to be written as 4 3 2 that is this f inverse has to be written as a cycle with elements 4 3 2 in the order that is f inverse is equals to 4 3 2 thus the inverse of f is equals to 4, 3, 2. Find the inverse of the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. This is a given permutation. Its inverse is just interchange the rows. The second row of f becomes the first row in f inverse. And the first row of F becomes the second row in the F inverse. So this is the F inverse of the given permutation. We can also find the inverse of the given permutation using product of cycles. So F is equal to the cycle 1, 2, 3. Because 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1. That is 1 cycle. The second cycle is 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4. The inverse of the product of the cycle F is equals to, we know that Fg whole inverse is equals to G inverse in the F inverse. This is known as reversal law because F and G are written in the reverse order. Therefore, consider F is equals to the cycle 1, 2, 3 and G equal to the cycle 4, 5. Therefore, F inverse becomes inverse of 4, 5 into inverse of 1, 2, 3. So, inverse of 4, 5 is 5, 4. Inverse of 1, 2, 3 becomes 3, 2, 1. Therefore, F inverse is equals to 5, 4 into the cycle 3, 2, 1. This is same as this F inverse. Let us verify this now. F inverse is equals to this is 2 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 2. So one cycle. 5 to 4, 4 to 5 is another cycle. We know that while writing the cycle we can start with any number and we have to write the rest of the elements without affecting their order. Therefore, the cycle 2, 1, 3 can be written as 3, 2, 1 with starting with 3. That is 3, then 2, then 1 and 5, 4 is there. Therefore, this is the product of the cycles 3, 2, 1 and 5, 4. Also, we know that these two cycles are disjoint cycles because no element is common. We know that product of disjoint cycle is commutative. The product of these two cycles can be written as 5, 4 into 3, 2, 1. Look at this now. These two, this is F inverse, this is F inverse. Both are same. Therefore, we can write the inverse in terms of permutation alone or convert the permutation into cycles then express in terms of product of cycles. Express the product of the cycles 1, 3, 2, 5, 1, 4, 3 and 2, 5, 1 as a product of disjoint cycles and find its inverse. The given products are not disjoint cycle. The reason is one is common in all the three cycles. But we have to express 
the product as a product of disjoint cycles then we have to find the inverse of the final product let us consider f be the product of the given cycles namely 1 3 2 5 1 4 3 and 2 5 1 in the first cycle we have 1 3 2 5 that is number 4 is missing and hence the 4 becomes a identity permutation and hence the first cycle can be expressed as a permutation namely the first row 1 2 3 4 5 second row 3 5 2 4 1 let us verify whether it is correct or not start with 1 1 goes to 3 1 goes to 3 3 goes to 2 yeah 3 goes to 2 2 goes to 5 yeah 2 goes to 5 5 goes to 1 5 goes to 1 yes it is right write the cycle 1 4 3 as a permutation in this cycle two numbers are missing that is number 2 is missing number 5 is also missing that means those two are identity permutations therefore the cycle 1 4 3 can be written as the permutation 1 2 3 4 5 second line 4 2 1 3 5 let us verify it 1 goes to 4 yes 1 goes to 4 4 goes to 3 yes 4 goes to 3 3 goes to 1 3 goes to 1 it's right the third one is 2 5 1 first let us simplify the first two permutations these two permutations are in product we know how to multiply product of two permutations therefore we can write this as the columns of the second permutations are rearranged so that the first line of second permutation is same as the second line of the first permutations let us verify it 3 goes to 1 3 goes to 1 5 goes to 5 5 goes to 5 2 goes to 2 4 goes to 3 image of 1 is 4 yes therefore 3 5 2 4 1 3 5 2 4 1 get cancelled and hence the product of the first two permutations is 1 2 3 4 1 5 2 3 4 now we are going to write 2 5 1 as your permutation therefore that is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 1 5 2 3 4 in this cycle two numbers are missing that is number 3 and 4 those two are identity permutations therefore here 2 goes to 5 2 goes to 5 5 goes to 1 5 goes to 1 1 goes to 2 1 goes to 2 and 3 and 4 are identity permutations we are going to multiply these two now we have rearranged the columns of the second permutations without affecting their images 1 goes to 2 5 goes to 1 2 goes to 5 3 goes to 3 4 goes to 4 and you see the rows 1 5 2 3 4 1 5 2 3 4 right these two get cancelled therefore that is equals to the permutation 1 2 3 4 5 the images are 2 1 5 3 4 respectively this is a permutation which is a product of the given three cycles if we consider this permutation 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 see one cycle 3 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4, 4 goes to 3. This is another cycle. Therefore, this permutation can be written as product of two cycles. And see that these two cycles are disjoint cycles. Because no number is common to both the cycles. 1, 2, 3, 5, 4 is here. Thus, we have expressed the given product of cycles as a product of disjoint cycles which is a product of disjoint cycles now we have to find the inverse of this disjoint cycles its inverse is equals to inverse of the product 1 2 and 3 5 4 we know fg whole inverse is equals to g inverse in the f inverse therefore this can be written as 3 5 4 inverse into 
1 to inverse we know how to write the inverse of a cycle we have to write in the reverse order therefore inverse of the cycle 3 5 4 is the cycle 4 5 3 the inverse of the cycle 1 2 is 2 1 also we know that inverse of a transposition is itself the cycle 2 1 is a transposition because it is of length 2 and its inverse is itself therefore instead of writing the cycle 2 1 we can simply write the inverse of 1 2 as 1 2 itself that's the one 1 2 because inverse of transposition is itself also we know that a cycle does not change by changing the places of its elements provided their cyclic order is not changed and hence we are going to write the cycle starting with 5 therefore 5 3 4 5 3 4 or even you can write we can start with 3 even you can start with 3 that is 3 4 5 3 4 5 multiplication of disjoint cycles is commutative this 3 4 5 and 1 and 2 these two are disjoint cycles therefore it is commutative and hence we can write the cycles 1 2 and 3 4 5 thus the inverse of the given product is the product of the cycles 1 2 3 4 5 so we can write any answer you can write the product as 4 5 3 2 1 or the answer as the product 4 5 3 1 2 or the answer as 5 3 4 1 2 or the product 3 4 5 1 2 or you can write the product 1 2 3 4 5 in all these five arrangements the two products are disjoint you express the product 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 6 7 8 9 as a product of disjoint cycles and find the inverse and again remember that the given products are not disjoint cycles if we consider the second and the third product 6 is common 6 is common if we consider the first and the third product 1 is common and hence they are not product of disjoint cycles we are going to take the product of these cycles and we are going to express it as product of disjoint cycles then we are going to find the inverse let us take f be the given product 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 6 7 8 9 consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you consider the product here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is the product is defined on 9 symbols that is 1 to 9 Consider the first product or the first cycle, it has only three elements, namely 1, 2, 3. What about the rest of the six elements? They are all identity permutations. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, then 3 goes to 1. What about 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? They are all identity permutations. Similarly, in the second product, the second cycle, it has elements 4, 5, 6. Here, the number 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9 are missing. Therefore, they are nothing but identity permutations. And hence, these two permutations can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They are all identity permutations into 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 6, 6 goes to 4. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9. They are all identity permutations. We are going to take the product of these two permutations. We have rearranged the columns of the second permutations. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9. Let us check whether we have written the correct images or not. 
2 goes to 2 yeah 2 2 image of 3 is 3 3 is 3 image of 1 is 1 image of 4 is 5 yes image of 4 is 5 image of 5 is 6 yes image of 5 is 6 image of 6 is 4 6 is 4 7 7 8 8 9 9 yes now we are going to cancel these two lines therefore the product becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here it is 2 3 1 5 6 4 7 8 9 this is the product of the first two cycles now we are going to multiply the product of the first two cycles with the third cycle namely 1 6 7 8 9 this is the product of first two cycles let us multiply all the three that is this is a product of the first two cycles into the third one. In the third cycle, we are going to write the third cycle as a permutation because it is very easy to multiply two permutations rather than two cycles. In this cycle, number 2 is missing, 3 is missing, 4 is missing, 5 is missing, 6, 7, 8, 9. So those numbers are nothing but identity permutations. 1 goes to 6, 6 goes to 7, 7 goes to 8, 8 goes to 9, 9 goes to 1. Now we are going to rearrange the columns of the second permutations without affecting their respective images. We have arranged 2, 3, 1, 5, 6, 4, 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 1, 5, 6, 4, 7, 8, 9. Image of 2 is 2, 2, 2. Image of 3 is 3, 3, 3. Image of 1 is 6, 1, 6. Image of 5 is 5, 5, 5. Image of 6 is 7, 6 goes to 7. Image of 4 is 4, 4, 4. Image of 7 is 8, 7, 8. Image of 8 is 9, 8, 9. Image of 9 is 1, 9, 2, 1. So we are written correctly. Now we can cancel the second row of first permutations and the first line of the second permutation therefore the product becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2 3 2 3 6 5 7 6 5 7 4 8 9 1 4 8 9 1 so this is the product of the three given cycles here 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 6 6 goes to 4 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 7 7 goes to 8 8 goes to 9 9 goes to 1 excellent excellent there is no identity permutation here and hence that is equals to 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 6 6 goes to 4 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 7, 7 goes to 8, 8 goes to 9, 9 goes to 1. Excellent one. And hence, it's the only one cycle. This is the product of the given three cycles. What is its inverse? We are going to find the inverse of the given product. Inverse of 1, 2, 3 into 4, 5, 6 into 1, 6, 7, 8, 9 is equals to inverse of the cycle 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. We know how to write the inverse of a cycle. To write inverse of a cycle, we have to write the elements in the reverse order. That is 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 6, 3, 2, 1. So thus, this is the inverse of the given product. If F is a cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 7, 6 and G is another cycle 4, 1, 5, 6, 7, 3, 2, 8 are cyclic permutations that show that F G whole inverse is equals to G inverse into F inverse. That is we are going to verify this reversal law with the cyclic permutations F and G. F is given as a cycle. We have to find the product of F and G. The cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 7, 6 is written as a permutation. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 8, 8 goes to 7, 7 goes to 6, 6 goes to 1. 
what about g g equals to the cycle 4 1 5 6 7 3 2 8 now we will write this as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 goes to 5 2 goes to 8 3 goes to 2 4 goes to 1 5 goes to 6 6 goes to 7 7 goes to 3 8 goes to 4 yes correct now we are going to take the product f and g so f into g is equals to this is the permutation f this is a permutation g here we are not going to rearrange the columns of the second permutation so that the first row of the second permutation G is equals to the second row of the first permutation F. Without doing it, we can take the product as follows. For that first, let us write the first line of the first permutation. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we are going to simplify without rearranging the columns of the second permutation. 1 goes to 2. Here 2 goes to 8. Therefore in the product the image of 1 is 8. That is 1 goes to 2. 2 goes to 8. Therefore the image of 1 is 8. We are going to find the image of 2 in this product. 2 goes to 3. Whereas in the second one, 3 goes to 2. Therefore, image of 2 will be 2. See here, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2. Now, what is the image of 3 in the product? 3 goes to 4. Whereas in the second permutation, 4 goes to 1. Therefore, 3 goes to 1. That is 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. Now, image of 4 in the product will be... 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 6, therefore it is 6. Now what is the image of 5 in this product? 5 goes to 8, whereas 8 goes to 4, therefore the image of 5 is 4. What is the image of 6? 6 goes to 1, here 1 goes to 5, therefore the image of 6 is 5. What is the image of 7? 7 goes to 6. 6 goes to 7. Therefore, image of 7 is 7. What is the image of 8? 8 goes to 7. 7 goes to 3. Therefore, the image of 8 in this product is 3. So, this is how we can write the product of two permutations without altering or without rearranging the columns of the second permutation. This is the product of the two permutations F and G. Now, we have to find its inverse. So, inverse of this permutation is we know how to write the inverse of your permutation. To write the inverse of your permutation, we have to interchange the rows of the given permutation. Therefore, inverse of this permutation is 8216457 3. That is the second row. This is the first row. And hence, this is the inverse of the product F into G. We know that in any permutation, the order of columns is immaterial. Therefore, we are going to rearrange the column so that the first line will be in the serial order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is, this is the one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But you have to verify whether we have written the corresponding images correctly or not. Image of 1 is 3. Yeah, 1, 3. Image of 2 is 2. 2, 2. Image of 3 is 8. 3 is 8. Image of 4 is 5. 4 is 5. Image of 5 is 6. 5, 6. Image of 6 is 4. 6, 4. Image of 7 is 7. 7, 7. Image of 8 is 1. 8, 1. So, this is the inverse of the product of the two permutations F and G. Let us call it as 1. 
this is a given cycle f we are going to express this cycle as a permutation that is equals to the permutation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 3 4 5 8 1 6 7 that is 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 4 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 8 8 goes to 7 7 goes to 6 6 goes to 1 yes correct now we have to find its inverse to write the inverse of this permutation we have to interchange the rows of f therefore f inverse is the permutation 2 3 4 5 8 1 6 7 and the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now consider another cycle G and this can be expressed as a permutation 4 goes to 1, 1 goes to 5, 5 goes to 6, 6 goes to 7, 7 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 8, 8 goes to 4, yes. Now we have to write its inverse for that we are going to interchange the rows therefore g inverse is equals to the permutation 5821673412345678 now we have to take the product of g inverse and f inverse therefore g inverse in the f inverse is equals to the product of the permutation we will now take the product of the permutations G inverse into F inverse. Normally, we interchange the columns of the second permutation. Now, without doing that, we are going to do at a stretch in one line. For that, we have to write the first line of the first permutation it is permutation 5 8 2 1 6 7 3 4 now we are going to write the image of 5 in this product 5 goes to 1 whereas here 1 goes to 6 5 goes to 1 here 1 goes to 6 therefore the image of 5 is 6 next one 8 goes to 2 here 2 goes to 1 therefore image of 8 is 1 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 2 therefore image of 2 is 2 1 goes to 4 4 goes to 3 therefore image of 1 is 3 6 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 therefore image of 6 is 4 7 goes to 6, 6 goes to 7, therefore image of 7 is 7, 3 goes to 7, 7 goes to 8, therefore image of 3 is 8, 4 goes to 8, 8 goes to 5, therefore image of 4 is 5, this is how we can write without altering or without rearranging the columns of the second matrix. So this is the product G inverse into F inverse. Already we have shown that F into G whole inverse is this permutation. Just now we have found G inverse in the F inverse is the permutation 5861673461234785. We are going to rearrange the column so that the first will be in the serial order namely 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is this is the one the first line is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what is the image of 1 3 yes image of 2 2 image of 3 8 yeah 8 image of 4 is 5 so 5 image of 5 is 6 6 image of 6 is 4 4 image of 7 is 7 image of 8 is 1 yes now call it as 2 look at this equation 1 and 2 both are exactly same both are nothing but the same permutation the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 second row 
थ्री टू एट थ्री टू एट फाइव सिक्स फोर फाइव सिक्स फोर सेवन वन सेवन वन दे फोर फ्रॉम वन एंड टू वी कैन से दैट एफ इन टू जी होल इनवर्स इज इक्वल टू जी इनवर्स इन टू एफ इनवर्स दिस कंप्लीट द प्रॉब्लम वी कैन ऑल्सो एक्सटेंड दिस रिवर्सल लॉ फॉर एनी नंबर ऑफ पेरिम्यूटेशन दट इज एफ जी हेच इनवर्स इज इक्वल टू हेच इनवर्स G inverse, F inverse. What you do is just write the permutations in the reverse order.